The Minister of International Cooperation was the target of angry criticism today over some extravagant travel expenses. Bev Oda was booked at a five-star hotel for a recent business trip but demanded to be moved to a swankier one. It all added up to big bucks and guess who got the bill? Our Terry Molesky has this story for us tonight. Terry. Well, Peter Bevoda was not here to answer questions today, but she did pay taxpayers some money back. This after she cancelled a five-star hotel in London, England, to go to an even grander hotel at twice the price. The Savoy, no less, which, to be fair, is much nicer. Isn't someone over there embarrassed by her behaviour? Will someone stand up and apologise to the hard-working Canadian taxpayers who she's living like a queen off their backs? It happened last June when Oda was booked at the not-too-shabby five-star Grange St. Paul's Hotel, the scene of the conference she attended, so no need for a limo. But Oda paid a cancellation fee, that's about $286, and went to the Savoy instead. Ah, the Savoy where the ads say that rooms, quote, sparkle with timeless elegance and glamour, the last word in style and luxury. But at 570 bucks a night, the Savoy was a gift for the opposition. Will the minister stop ripping off taxpayers' dollars because she couldn't get a smoking room and stop living like a millionaire and the taxpayers die? Oda's colleagues defended her with muted enthusiasm. This government respects the taxpayers' dollars. We expect all ministers to do so. That's why the minister in question has repaid the expenditures made in question. Why she switched hotels is something you will have to ask Minister Oda. Uh, there could be a very good reason for it. It's just I don't know that. Oda herself spoke to a local station by phone but did not explain the switch. I have nothing to uh, be embarrassed about. As they say, I've made sure that the taxpayers, even though I followed Treasury Board guidelines, that the taxpayers are not going to take the burden of uh, changing hotels. Still, Oda only paid the money after the story broke, and she has not paid nearly $3,000 for the limo she hired, which she wouldn't have needed if she'd stayed where the conference was. Plus, she might have got a glass of orange juice for less than the 16 bucks the Savoy charged. We'll work together and find her some good orange juice. You won't have to pay $16. And coming from a government who is demanding that Canadians tighten their own belts, the hypocrisy is reeking. Now, this is not the first time that Bervoda has been in the opposition's gun sights, and she will likely stay there when she appears in the House tomorrow. Peter. All right. Terry Malofsky in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Terry.